According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yeah, what's going on guys? My name is Ross Socks, and this is the entire bee movie, except instead of the bee movie, it's a, it's a, it's a Timo custom skin. <laughs> wow, I'm really fucking grasping at straws here for custom skins. I don't know though, I saw this skin and I'm pretty sure this is going to be posted pretty much straight after my other uh, Timo video. But I don't, oh, they swap lanes, okay. But I kind of don't much care, purely because uh, it's fucking cute, man. There was another one that I saw that I was really wanting to do a, a video on and it was uh, Star Guardian Timo. And it looked like, it looked like a fucking sheep, like it looked fucking great. And I was like... Could I do three Teemo videos in a row straight after I just said that I wasn't a Teemo main? I don't think I can. <laughs> so we're going to do this anyway. As always, if you want to... I haven't done a custom skin video in a while, okay? I didn't do that because there was a lot of controversy. Well, not controversy. I did that interview on the channel. Basically, uh, talking, interviewing one of the guys who makes skins like these. We had a big talk. Uh, it kind of... It was a pretty decent topic. And it actually helped push forward a lot of discussion internally in Riot to... Uh, to make sure that the, the, the community behind custom skinning is, you know, saved. And uh, I'm not saying that I had any part in it, but I, I like to think that I helped them, the, the, helped out ever so slightly. I was part of the problem because, you know, we gave attention to it and it made it kind of, uh, it, we, we, we gave attention to it and because of that, it was in it got put in trouble kind of basically. But at the same time, you know, it was, it was only right that I, uh, I try and help it as well. So if you want to download this custom skin, there will be a link to the skin in the description where uh, you can go check that out. Also, we do have a giveaway going on right now as well for the uh, for the week. And I'll be doing a couple giveaways throughout the uh, the month just to say thank you. And just to, uh, just to like, kind of give back to you guys who've given me such a fucking great year on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, it's Christmas or it's, you know, whatever holiday you, you happen to celebrate. It's it's the holidays, though. So it's, it's the time of giving. So we're giving you these, uh, we're giving you these free skins. And let me just get that. Oh, we got double. So yeah, we're giving these away. And uh, so basically, there's like a there's a tutorial on how to install it as well on the on the page. So you don't have to worry about answering, putting me in the comments section and be like Ross, how the actual fuck do I uh, do I actually apply this? Okay. I'm pretty dead anyway. Yeah, I was gonna die. I thought I may as well pick up the kill anyway. Not too bad. Not too bad. If I had like a little bit of cooldown on my. Uh, on my queue, I might be able to pick something up there. But yeah, regardless. So yeah, we got a giveaway, we got skins, uh, custom skin that's pretty neat, and we get to th we get to put down little bees as well. It's pretty it's pretty fucking cute, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, yeah, so things are fucking good. If Once you enter the giveaway, this is only for my subscribers, by the way. The only thing you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. I, uh, I'm not gonna make you like follow me on Twitter or fucking Download my fucking whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's not sponsored. It's nothing like that. Just giving stuff away. But obviously, I only want to give it away to my community, uh, to you guys. So it's understandable that one of the one of the fucking, one of the things you need to do is to be subscribed. If you want to unsubscribe immediately after, then, then fine. But still, I'd appreciate it if you stuck around and watched some of my videos. Because obviously, you know, you might have heard YouTube's not in the greatest place right now. It's a little bit funny. I'm kind of... Uh, I'm kind of not sure what the hell is going on with YouTube. The algorithm is changing a lot, and uh, I'm sure, but honest to God, I'm sure you've heard enough about it. I'm sure you've heard enough about it. It's kind of left me in a, a bit of a situation where, like, you know, I've done some quick baity. Well, I say quick bait, okay? I've done some. We never really get to talk about this on the channel all that much. I was considering making like a full video on it about quick bait. I mean, for the last like several years, I've been fighting against quick bait, okay? I mean. I know like a lot of my thumbnails and stuff are pretty quick bait, but I tried to make it as quick bait as possible without actually being straight up lies. You know what I'm saying? Like it might be like, oh, insane X Y Z does this, and you go in and you're like, that wasn't so great, but still, at least it did happen, but it wasn't as good as it sounded. Like maybe that's what you might get a reaction from. But when it's like colorblind challenge, and then if you can only see red, you are colorblind, and it's literally just a fucking red thumbnail, then there's a problem. Hold on, let's put down a B. Oh, we got, was that little, what the fuck? They look like little, little eggs, almost, what the fuck? Let's put down another B. 
Oh, they're like, they're fucking cute, man. Holy shit. They're like oh, they're like mushrooms from Mario, except they look like bees. Is that like the is that the mushroom from Mario that turns Mario into a bee from like Super Mario Galaxy? I think it might be. I don't know. But yeah. So I, a bunch of people have talked about this, especially in the League of Legends community, mostly like GB and Foxdrop. They talked about clickbait a little bit. Guys, you know, I think people like Brofresco, they get a lot of shit for like, you know, they're just clickbait titles and stuff like that, guys. We are by far one of the least, the fucking least uh, offensive communities. League of Legends is one of the least offensive communities when it comes to, uh, when it comes to clickbait and when it comes to stuff like that. We are legit. You guys, the League of Legends community as a whole, does not take any shit, like, whatsoever. It's actually unreal how brutal you guys can fucking be. Am I gonna die here? I'm, I'm, I'm 100% dead. Fuck! Okay. Mazahar is gonna be a pain. Um, yeah, you guys are always, you guys are brutal as shit. Oh, I got the assist, okay. Uh, you guys are fucking brutal when it comes to any bullshit in the community, okay? Right. People will say that, like, the League of Legends community is bad, right? We've had, like, you know, um... Sky did a video a long time ago being like, the league community is fucked, basically. And I really disagreed with that at the time, and I still disagree with it. I think the community as a, as a whole, everybody, all the league YouTubers know everybody. There's no real beef, and if, it is, if there is beef between people, it's not public beef. Nobody really fights in the community. We rarely ever have any drama. We rarely have any, like, any real scumbaggy tactics. Um, we have, like, you know... We're, we're pretty good. Compare ourselves, compare ourselves to like the Call of Duty community, compare ourselves to the Minecraft community, compare ourselves to like literally fucking any community at all and you'll find that we are probably the least offensive because our community is a little bit smaller because uh, everybody who's, who's kind of big in the, the, the YouTube scene on, on League has been doing this shit for kind of quite a while. So it's, uh, oh god dude, I'm getting fucking, I'm getting wreckeroned here. Ah, oh, damn man. What the fuck? I got ganked straight away, that kind of sucks. So yeah, everybody's been doing this shit for so long, nobody really wants to fight, nobody really wants drama. But uh, it's, it goes exactly the same way for clickbait as well, in all honesty. Clickbait isn't that big a deal on the YouTube scene. If something is clickbait, or if it's too clickbait, you guys are not scared to let them know. And, you know, more often than not, people change things. People change their shit up to, uh, to adjust the, the audience, and it's a, it's a kind of a double-edged sword because you guys are like really obviously passionate about League of Legends. You don't take shit, and you know apart you know apart from like all the other communities thinking that we're really toxic, we're one of the better communities. But you guys are pretty bad at watching non-league content as well. Like, if it's not League, if it's a League of Legends YouTuber, and they do a different game nobody's interested and it's it's kind of fucked up the only people that i've seen kind of deviate from this and actually successfully do something outside of the outside of this is people like tyler one uh but they and, and donkey as well is like another really really obvious one but those guys are like such strong personalities like tyler is like probably one of my favorite uh personalities who who i guess was in league because he does kind of armor three and stuff now but he was so fucking funny and like i i love the guy so much like, he's so fucking funny, I, I've introduced him to, like, quite a lot of my, my friends. Even people that aren't, they don't, they don't know anything about, uh, they don't know anything about, even gaming. They don't really care about gaming, but they just watch, like, Arma 3 is, like, a game you don't really need to know much about. You just watch it. And they were fucking crying with laughter at some of the shit Tyler was doing. Or, like, his painting with Tyler, stuff like that. And obviously, Donkey is just a very sincere person who, like, just fucking makes, who makes good videos. Uh, but those are like the only two exceptions I can really think to the rule of people that, you know, people are interested in watching their non-league content. And I guess with Donkey, I actually, you know, personally preferred his non-league content anyway. And maybe that's why he, he was successful in like transitioning out. But, um, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of, oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, God. Okay, I survived. Alright, we just switched lanes because Malzahar is like a real pain in the ass. And uh, he is like, it's a perfect lane for for, uh, for Gangplank to go against. If we put him up against Malzahar. Because obviously, he can't get held in place like I can with uh, his W. So that's good. We may have an easier lane now. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, Kazakh, you asshole. Fuck, boy, man. Whew. But yeah, I kind of got a little bit off topic there, but like... 
Clickbait is all, all, isn't all that bad, and I've been kind of fighting against it for a long ass time. Obviously, like, I kind of did, like, booby thumbnails a while back when I used to do Why I Hates. That was just because it was, like, I thought it was funny, in all honesty. I didn't expect people to click on it more. But it feels like there's a problem in the fact that, like, clickbait f content just happened. Just, it just gets more clicks. Like, everybody, everybody fucking hates clickbait content. But still clicks on clickbait content. You know, it's really, that's the reason why it is so fucking, like, popular. Like, why they're getting a lot of quick through, they're getting a lot of quick through and YouTube is promoting that. Because people are getting clickbait into, into like, into clicking on it. And it doesn't matter, apparently, anymore whether or not the content's any good. I used to, like, you know, I used to do my Why I Hates. And, um, it was a case of... I was okay with clickbaiting that content because I knew that the content was still good, you know? It didn't it didn't bother me because I was like, okay, well, you know, this is a little bit clickbait, but at, the, at least at the end of the day, also get fuck driven, at, at least at the end of the day, there's a good video behind it to back it up, you know? Because, like, you go on some of these really fucking clickbaity videos and they're just fucking garbage and it's, uh, it sucks, but, you know, those videos are getting way more views than any of mine ever will. So, what is that? That kind of says to me, Ross, you're doing something wrong. You should make your thumbnails a little bit more clickbait. Your title's a little bit more clickbait, you know? But I don't want to, I don't want to have to do that. But, apparently nobody clicks on a fucking thing unless it is! So, boo! You know? Honestly, though, it's not people's fault that they're getting clickbait. But, I think it's unfair that they kind of, they go to their, their favorite content creators and they say, stop, you're, you're, you're becoming a clickbait monster. When the person is basically being forced to, by not only the fact that, you know, these videos are like taking up a lot of people's time because they're getting clickbait into it, and it's killing the reputation of other YouTubers, but YouTube are now promoting content like that. So not only are we getting fucked by the viewers clicking on, you know, shit videos and then being like, you know what, I don't even want to watch YouTube. I'm getting clickbait the fuck out here. I don't want to, I don't want to watch anymore. But YouTube are like, oh, this is these are the videos that people want to watch. So we're going to fucking promote them. And it's kind of just a bit fucking lame. And I'm really sorry that we are like, I'm like talking about all this bullshit. I really shouldn't. Because uh, we're supposed to be playing the, the Teemo skin. But I don't get to talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Crazy amounts. And we can enjoy this cute little fucking Teemo skin. Whilst also, uh, what's this guy doing? What the fuck is Riven doing? <laughs> We can enjoy this cute little Teemo skin without the, uh, and also have a talk. See, so, yeah, I don't know. I'd, honestly, I've rambled a lot, but I'd love to hear your opinions in the comment section. As always, you know, I love to hear your opinions. And, like, people are like, oh, Ross begging for likes. But apparently, that's the way the algorithm's going, where engagement improves, you know, your rankings now a lot more than it used to. It used to just be, like, a tool for creators to, like, tell if their content was good or not. So, like... It used to be that a like wouldn't help me rank up higher in like an algorithm. However, it would like give me an idea if you want more of those videos. So if I said like, okay, if this video gets like 5,000 likes, we'll do the next one. I used to do that with my Hextech unboxing videos. And I got criticized quite a lot for, for making so many Hextech unboxing videos um, by like pretty big people in the community. Um, I'm not going to like name names as who like kind of shout on me, but... People were like, this is really, really shitty low effort content and nobody wants to watch it. And uh, all I could really say was, listen, I said in the videos, if this video gets, I, at, the, at the beginning I said 3,000 likes, okay? I got 3,000 likes, easy, I got like 7,000. The next one I was like, okay, I don't think I'll do another one. But I don't think I'll do another one after this, so what I'll do is I'll make a higher number so that it's harder to get. So that was maybe like 5,000. 5,000 gets knocked out of the fucking park, and then eventually, I was asking for like 20,000 fucking likes, and it was still getting that amount of likes. Like, the higher I pushed it, the higher, like, the, it was getting. And I was getting criticized for like, oh, nobody wants to watch this. But I was intentionally putting my likes higher than they should have been, or higher than I thought I could ever get, because I was like, okay, nobody really wants this anymore, and I kind of, I, I, I'll only give it to them if my community actually want it, want it, but like, you know, I thought it was a bit bullshit that I was getting flack for, uh, for something that I was literally only making for my viewers, you know, 
Um, but I guess that's just how it is sometimes. That's just how it is. But it's exactly like that. People say like, oh, people that ask for likes. So the people intentionally put dislikes on videos where they ask for likes. I get comments where they say, I was gonna like the video until you asked for it. People were saying like, uh, I was gonna like the video, but then you asked me to like it, and so I didn't want to. I don't get that. I honestly don't get it. It's, uh, it's not so much asking for likes, it's just a reminder that if you do like the videos, I would appreciate the like. Um, just to know that I'm doing a good job. Like, you know when you're working at your work and your boss comes up to you and he just says, good job, man. That's what that is. That is literally what a like is to me. Someone's saying, hey, dude, I actually kind of enjoyed that video you put out. You know, if you made another one, I might watch it. I wouldn't mind watching that video if you put it out again. Ah. Oh. Did a motherfucker just survive right there? Did a motherfucker just survive right there? No, I didn't get to hit him. How the fuck did he survive that, dude? My, oh, my, what the fuck? I didn't think he, I think he'd be that retarded. I didn't think he'd actually be that retarded. He's 1-5. He must be. I, I shouldn't have stuck around, but I didn't think he'd be, like, so out of his fucking mind that he'd fly under a tower. I survived way longer than I should have, though, let's be honest. But yeah, we've, uh, we've talked about some serious shit for a lot of this video. Mmm. Definitely the kind of shit you guys are not interested in hearing about. But, regardless, I don't know, I, I, uh, I feel like opening up ever so silly. There's, a uh, there's word of, uh, some, you know, some beef on the streets potentially being started. As well, I'm never ever gonna like see who by or what's going on, but I have a prediction that beef is about to start somewhat in the league community, and I might be I might be involved in it. I might throw my hat in the ring because uh, I know I, I'm not gonna talk about it right now, obviously, but uh, I have a lot to see, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's something I'm I, I'm pretty. Uh, like, enthusiastic about it, spreading my, giving my opinion for, I guess. I am actually pretty shreddy. Like, I'm shredding pretty hard here, dude. Ooh! Shredding pretty hard here, bro. There we go, we got him. Get her done! Did we get shut down? How many kills has he got? He's got 14 kills. Pussy, dude. What a pussy. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Get it? Cause I'm a fucking bee! Just teleport to this biatch. Oh, he stood on it still. Ah! I don't, you know, I'm 3-6, I kinda don't care. We killed, uh, we're gonna get terror out of that, like, 100%. We killed Kha'Zix, who's a big ass bitch. And, uh, we got, we got Misfortune a triple kill. Misfortune's got 10 kills. I'm happy with that, dude. I totally just, like, I didn't think Kazix was that brave that he'd be like, yeah, let's fucking, let's go for this. Even though there's four people nearby. There's three people nearby and one person teleporting on top of me. I'm gonna go for this. Didn't expect him to do that, but here you go. <sighs> but yeah, in terms of like YouTube stuff, man, I don't, I honestly, I wouldn't blame people for being demotivated, I guess. Or like, just having the motivation like killed ever so slightly. And I'd be like lying if I didn't say that, you know, my motivation was not getting like knocked around a little bit. Uh, it has made me reconsider the algorithm and uh, and and my content in general, I guess. And whether or not I should change things up a bit or, you know, move back to old, old things I was doing. Like, I guess, like, the why I hates have always been, like, a really big part of the channel. And they haven't been a part of it so much in the last year. And a lot of you guys ask for it pretty regularly. We, uh, yeah, so a lot of people ask for the Y hates pretty regularly. You know, people miss the Y hates series a lot. And they ask, like, why, where's it gone? Why isn't it around anymore? And the only thing I can really tell people about the Y hate and where it's gone is that nobody was really watching it anymore. Um, you know, they used to get, the Y hate series used to get anywhere from, from a quarter of a million views to half a million, I think the, the, the number one, the biggest one I ever made is uh, maybe like 800,000 views currently, which is fucking awesome. Like I can, I'm 100% down. That's why I was making them full time because they were getting views. 
but uh, the, the views started to drop pretty drastically. And when I say drastically, I mean the views like more than halved. Like they were more than half what they used to be. So like instead of getting like uh, instead of getting like 250k pretty much guaranteed per video. I would get like 80k views per video or maybe just push past 100k if I was lucky which is still really good but when it takes you like three or four days to make one it kind of burns you know it kind of it's a little bit upsetting especially given how much of a like how much I cared about the series and like how much hope and how much like I like it, how how like kind of important it was to me um and I would ask for likes I'd be like guys you know I want to know you still want this series. Please like the video because that's the only way I have to know. And it still wasn't getting a lot of likes, you know? I. Oh my god, the lead. Rombo, go hot. No, Riz. Come on! Dad talking about it ever so slightly. Talking about, you know, rest in peace, why I hate series. I tried to bring it back in a way that, you know, it wouldn't. It wouldn't take as much time off my hands. And, like. It was, it was still, it was literally still the exact same script. Like, when I, like, obviously, writing a 2,000 word fucking, like, basically essay. I, there was a, there was a period of time when I was posting, like, the non-edited Why Hates. Like, uh, Right Why. Um, which were kind of, like, Why I Hate Lights. They were kind of diet Why I Hates, you know? Like, not the full thing, but, you know, it was... It was a fucking, I was writing a 2,000 word essay daily, uh, and that is harder than it sounds. Have you ever, like, you, you may not be at the age yet where you have to write a bunch of essays, but writing 2,000 words, you know, you start to sound like fucking Marina Joyce after a while. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Um, you start to sound like Marina Joyce ever so slightly, just being like, repeating words and feeling like you're just kind of rehashing shit. Um, and I and I thought the scripts for the the right wise were still good, without the uh, without the hassle of me having to fucking edit everything. But uh, and they did they once again, for a while got pretty good views, but then you know they stopped again. So uh, I don't know. And it's actually pretty much exactly the same thing with the the weird League of Legends, like the uh, obviously like, the first two. The first two Weird League of Legends I ever did got uh, half a million, respectively. Like, both got half a million. And uh, that was fucking ridiculous. And then the next one got, like, quarter million. But, like, you know, they start to, like, kind of slow down quite a lot. And uh, it, takes a, it takes a lot. Like, it may, even though I was pushing them out daily, I was working my ass off on them. Because, uh, obviously, I have to, like, build shit to get it working. Had to go out and get fucking materials, stuff like that. Uh, it was a lot of work to do daily, and I actually still want to keep doing more of them, but um, I think I need a bit of a break from it just for this, the time being. Okay. Guys, there you go. No! Coordinate yourselves! God damn it, dude. 100 fucking. Oh. What? God fucking damn it! Ah! <laughs> well, guys, that's uh, an unfortunate loss, but still, we had a good game. We got a good chat as well. <sighs> if you liked this video, if you made it this far, I would really love for you to uh, to drop a like. Because, God fucking damn. And uh, the secret word of the day, which you can put in the comment section if you made it that far. Because I always check the comment section to see who made it to the end. If you want to put B. Yeah. Somehow, put B in the comments. And I'll know you made it to the end. Thank you guys so much for just listening to me ramble. Getting things off my chest a little bit. And showcasing a pretty cool skin. Take it easy, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Love you.